The government of Canada is funding the attacks on parental rights in this country, and they're using the summer jobs program, which they banned Christians from accessing to do it. Today, I'll show you the documents to prove it. You know, I saw this tweet the other day from a journalist whom I admire, one of the few working in the mainstream media at the National Post, whom I respect. Her name is Jamie Sarkanak, and she was responding to an article in the Toronto Star that had been tweeted out by Seamus O'Regan, one of Justin Trudeau's former groomsmen who went on to fail upwards to be a Liberal MP. Now, Sarkanak noted that the article was written by Faye Johnstone. And for those of you who don't know or were under a rock for about two months, six months ago, Faye Johnstone was honored by Hershey's as an important female activist, though he is a biological man. Faye Johnstone was also the keynote speaker at the Regina YWCA Women of Distinction Awards. Here's my interaction with him on the streets of Regina. Hi, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed with Rebel News. Good day. And I was just wondering how you respond to Regina wi- businesswomen who object to you being the keynote speaker at the Women of Distinction Awards being threatened and doxxed online for, I guess, the crime of disagreeing with you. Hey. Have a good day. I'm gonna. I think you might too. Do you think it's okay for those women to be threatened for disagreeing with you? Anyway, Sarkanak noted that Mr. Johnstone had been the recipient of a million plus dollars from the Canadian federal government for his Wisdom to Action organization. Faye Johnstone bills himself as the co-owner of Wisdom to Action along with an NDP MLA from Halifax named Lisa Lachance. Lachance is the critic for 2SLGBTQ plus affairs for the NDP opposition in Nova Scotia, while simultaneously getting paid to speak about LGBTQ issues through Wisdom to Action. You see, you can book Lisa right here, but you have to let Lisa know your budget for compensation for her. Do they even have an ethics commissioner in Nova Scotia. Now, if we drill down on these grants posted to the federal government website, well, sure as heck, Faye and Friends received about a million plus dollars to attack parents and undermine the rights of biological women. Now, a substantial portion of the funding given to Faye Johnstone's grievance racket came from the Public Health Agency of Canada. There was another huge chunk of money given to Faye Johnstone's Wisdom to Action to advance legal challenges on behalf of so-called victims of so-called conversion therapy under the new ban on it, Bill C-4. But another chunk of money came from the Canada Summer Jobs Program. Now, let me give you a brief refresher about the controversy surrounding the Canada Summer Jobs Program. Soon after Justin Trudeau took office, Christians were all but banned from accessing the summer jobs program. It was a program meant to employ summer students at things like summer camps. Christians were banned if they did not sign an attestation to the Liberal Party of Canada's values, which includes support for gender theory, gender transition, and abortion. Many Christian organizations, which provided services to underprivileged kids, could not sign that attestation in good conscience, and they were denied funding. Now, left-wing activists getting money from the federal government, that's not all that significant or abnormal under Justin Trudeau. But it is part of the liberal government's use of federal dollars to pay their friends to vilify their political enemies as bigots. And then they cite those well-funded so-called experts as proof providers that anybody but the liberals are bigots. That's what Seamus O'Regan's tweet was all about. He retweeted Faye Johnstone as an expert in the field of LGBTQ plus versus parents issues. And also as an expert, I suppose, in the bigotry of us conservatives. Now, Seamus did this without ever noting that Faye Johnstone had been granted money from the federal government to do exactly that. Now, the Liberals did the exact same thing with the Anti-Hate Network. The Liberals funded the Anti-Hate Network to go around and identify any person to the right of Chairman Mao as some sort of radical 
right wing extremist. And then the liberals and the media go on to cite the anti hate network as experts. And in Saskatchewan, where parents finally had a victory with the Parents' Bill of Rights, a law that was signed into life October 23rd, 2023, which puts parents in charge. And it took matters of gender and pronouns away from the activists in the classroom. It took away the secrecy these activists use to get access to your kids. Faye is now using those taxpayer funds to wage war on the very parents the funds were extracted from. None of this is organic. It's all part of a well-funded network of machinery meant to undermine traditional values and families in this country. And that is sinister enough, but it's worse because you're paying for it. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. To sign our Rebel News petition against secrets and sexual activism in the classroom, please go to stopclassroomgrooming.com.